and show you this other tool that kind of goes along with the Gridify feature. Um, and it's up here, it's called the Gap Tool. It's this little tool right here, it says Gap Tool. I'll click on that. And when I roll over, hopefully you can see on the screen, it's very hard to see, it's a very light gray. When I roll over this gap, can you see how it's turning gray all the way across? And all the way up and down here. So what it does is it looks at it and says, hey, I can see that that's a continuous gap. It just goes ahead and identifies gaps in your drawings. So I'm going to go ahead and take this gap, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab it with the gap tool and just move it to the left. And as I do it, it's moving the entire gap and all the images that are on either side. So it's keeping the gap amount the same, but moving where it sits. And the reason the images are growing with it is because we have auto fit turned on. If we didn't have that, the frames would grow, but the images would sit the same. So that's why I turn that on. So then I want to make a grid really quick. I can just shorten this. I can actually undo that as well. The other thing I can do is I can hold down the shift key and instead of doing the entire gap, it's just going to take the gap that's uh, just the items that are on either side of the gap immediately instead of all the way across. So if I hold down my shift key and drag up, that gap changes, but the other one stays. You can see where I can just bring this in and really quickly I can work with my images and suddenly I have a gap that doesn't look quite as boring as the one I had before, just a, a plain gap. So I can sit here and play with that, move that over. Let's move this one as well, just hold on the shift key. Now you can see some weird things are happening because I have the gap and I overlapped that that's there.